I get it. Finding the motivation to cook after a long day of work can be incredibly challenging. We've all been there before, haven't we, when we plopped ourselves on the couch and ate a bowl of cereal while watching cat videos? Not only can it be hard to find the motivation to cook after a long day of work, it can also be challenging to eat with the season. That's why if you use our basic dinner bowl formula, you'll be shocked at how easy it is to cook super delicious food that's incorporating local with whatever is inspiring you or that you might have on hand, and you'll be so proud of yourself that you didn't cave to another bowl of cereal. The first thing that you should do before you cook anything is get all of your utensils out in front of you. I've got a couple of knives, some tongs, a spatula, a zester, a juicer, my hone for my knife, and then a bench scraper. Having your tools is going to make cooking much easier for you. The formula for our dinner bowl is very simple and it can get leveled up as your skill and time allows. You'll need a starch such as pasta, potatoes. For this dish, we're going to use rice. A vegetable to roast a protein that can be cooked in the pan. I'm vegan, so today we're gonna to be using tofu. And we'll need a fresh salad-like component to top it off, some sort of sauce, and maybe some other sort of finisher, like a microgreen, a seed, almond, or cheese. That sounds like a bunch, but once you see it all come together, you'll realize it isn't. I assure you, you can do this. You can do it! We're gonna take the above formula and make seared tofu over Carolina gold rice with a tomato and peach herb salad, roasted carrots, pecan gremolata with tiny bits of onion blossom for garnish. It sounds fancier than it is, trust me. First, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. While your oven warms up, place two cups of water into a small stainless steel pot. Add one cup of Tidewater Grain Company Carolina Gold Rice. Throw in a pinch of salt and bring to a boil. Reduce to simmer and let simmer untouched for 15 minutes. When finished cooking, remove from the heat and set aside until the final plate up. Next, we're gonna line two sheet trays with parchment paper. On one of our trays, we're going to put one cup of pecans. Next, take your carrots, rinse them off, dry them, cut them in half, hit them with about a tablespoon of olive oil, a little bit of salt and pepper, and place them on the second prepared tray. We're gonna put both these things in the oven at the same time. Our pecans are gonna cook for a total of eight minutes, and our carrots are gonna cook for an additional 12 minutes after that for a total cook time of 20 minutes. Once the 20 minutes has gone by, shut our oven off, but keep the carrots in there so that they remain warm until we have finished serving our dish. While your pecans toast, zest a lemon into a bowl. In that same bowl, small dice half of a shallot, about a whole head of parsley, two tablespoons of already minced garlic or one fresh clove, two to three tablespoons of olive oil, juice of half of that lemon, season that with salt and pepper and set it aside until our pecans are removed and come to room temp. Next to make our tomato and peach salad, it is going to be super simple. Roughly cut your peaches and tomatoes into similar sizes. Add one tablespoon of olive oil, one tablespoon of lemon juice, and about three to four tablespoons of any herbs that you might have on hand. I have some parsley left over, so I'm gonna use that. Next, season with salt and pepper and set that aside. Cut and season your tofu with salt and pepper. Sear it in a hot pan over medium high heat with about two to three tablespoons of olive oil. You're gonna cook it about three to four minutes per side. When you are done with the cook process, the key to great tofu is to hit it with a dry seasoning mix. Let me add a little bit of spice. And then a splash of water so that dry seasoning crusts your tofu without burning during the entire cooking process. To assemble, lay a scoop of rice in the bottom of the bowl. This rice has not been seasoned yet, so make sure you hit it with a little bit of salt. Place your carrots that have been roasted on top of that, your tofu on top of that. Next, add a generous scoop of your tomato and peach salad. And lastly, we're gonna to top this with our gremolata that we made and a little bit of that onion chive flour that I told you about earlier. And there we have it, everybody. I know this seems extra fancy for a come home dish, but it really wasn't that hard to make. We cooked some rice, we roasted some carrots, we cooked some tofu, made a fresh little salad and another little sauce. And this is a delicious meal. And of course, I've got enough left that I can make some lunch for myself for the following couple of days. In total, everything that we prepped today made four portions, two that me and my wife would have eaten this evening and then lunch for the next day. I like to keep the tomato and peach salad in a separate container and the gremolata in a separate container as well. And then I just pulled those out and topped them so that I can throw the dish right in the microwave and then hit it with the fresh components. And the last thing to do is just take a bite. I'm gonna grab some of this salad and these peaches and that rice, some tofu. Hmm. What I love about all of this is that you have so many different flavors and different textures. The rice is nice and soft. 
The peach and the tomato are both really succulent and soft. The roasted carrot provides another flavor. You get a little bit of that roast. The toasted nuts, even though we <laughs> burnt the first batch that we did, provide just an awesome nuttiness that complements the freshness of the whole entire dish. The tofu is cooked beautifully. Yeah, this is a banger. I'd be so happy to eat this after getting home from work. It probably took me about 45 minutes start to finish. And the last thing that we're gonna do is cost everything out just so that you have a rough idea of what this dish would cost. And don't forget, if you're looking to support local, you can always do so at www.freshless.com. That's where I got the majority of the ingredients for the dish that I made in front of you today. You can get those delivered directly to your door or picked up at our headquarters. I'm gonna finish this and then I'm gonna end my day. Thanks, have a great one.